on, baby. Oh, what is in here? What? You cannot put that there. What are you talking about? Why can't I? Because. Why can't I? It's a question that never goes away. Our whole lives are spent chafing against the rules, pushing back the boundaries, trying to find a loophole. Oh, come on. The B&B chair, it's way too big for the living room. It's old and it's falling apart. It doesn't match the couch. <laughs> Mine becomes ours the second you cohabitate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Learn to love the beanbag. Thank you, Kai. It's, it's very helpful. Thank you. Thank you for showing the love. And now, here to charm you with his dulcet tones, Goblin Zone, Kai Booker. What are you doing? I told you. Come on. Come on, everybody. Right on, right on. Wow. Did you know what you could say? No. <clears throat> Know what you're feeling It's hard to believe in That all must be millions and Millions of light years away So let the stars align Let the water make wine Cause broken souls Will become whole tonight Oh, tonight Oh, it's right, so lift your eyes and let me in Cause baby, I'm an alien like you Will you ever wake at night and realize The reason why you knew me then Cause baby, I'm an alien too Will you ever let me be Alien with you. Woo yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, cheers. 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 I have to get some air. I'm just gonna go tell Kai how amazing he was, okay? I'll be right back. No, oh, okay. Mwah. So, you can sing. You sing really well. Thank you. Kai, it was incredible. And why didn't you tell me you're a musician? Are you in a band? You know, like a barista by day, a rock star by night? <laughs> okay, we can't talk about therapy. Singing is a non-starter. Uh, what can we talk about? Latte art? Fine, what do you want to know? You start off with the orange veggies. Yeah. You know, like squash, carrots, sweet potato, stuff like that. It's like a system. Right. Yeah. Hey, do you want me to go get her? Oh, um, no. No, it's okay. She'll be back soon. What is the big deal about you telling me your doctor's name? There is no big deal. I just don't want it. <laughs> oh, my God. You are so annoying. <laughs> well, my 15 minutes has turned into 20. I got to get back to work. Of course you do. Honestly, I don't understand why everything has to be such a secret with you. Hey, guys, what I miss? The entire evening, apparently. Um, how about we go settle the bill? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're mad. You were gone for 20 minutes. So? I was just talking to a friend. Oh, you mean Kai, the 22-year-old barista? Okay, wait a minute. Are you mad because I was AWOL or because I was talking to Kai? Well, Ethan, what do you want me to do? Just not be his friend? I mean, you could start. Over and over, we resist any attempt to box us in, to curtail our freedom. We ask the question, why can't I? And when the answer comes back, we never like what we hear.
almost broke my neck. What? Your beanbag chair, it attacked me. Why is it in the middle of the bed? Uh, because it's not in the living room? Hey. Huh. You look tired. Thanks. I am. It's kind of hard to sleep when your boyfriend is mad at you. Okay, here's the thing. I, I don't get your friendship with Kai. People in relationships... What, they can't be trusted to be friends with someone from the opposite sex? Look, get your morning coffee from him. Talk to him while you're waiting in line. That's cool. But anything else... Ethan, and... I'm not Claire. Exactly, because Claire would pull that kind of shit on me all the time. Fine. Thank you. He didn't actually say you can't be friends with Kai, but clearly what he meant was you can't be friends with Kai. But why? I mean, it's, it's crazy. Is she from your mom's group? No, no, I just see her around sometimes, and her kid looks about the same age as Max, so. Well, you should go introduce yourself. You can swap, I don't know, sleeping pills or notes or whatever you new moms do. I don't even know her name. Really? I can fix that. Oh, no, Erica, don't. No, no, that's weird. Wow. You sound like Ethan. He's threatened and probably just a little bit jealous, that's all. But why? I haven't done anything wrong. Come on, Judith, Kai. Kai is just a friend. I know, but it's... It's just one of those things you can't do. Oh, come on. I was friends with Ethan for years when he was married to Claire. Exactly. And who's Ethan with now? So are we going to Goblins or what? Actually, I feel like Starbucks. <laughs> All right. So that is the resume of Nicole Clarkson. She has her master's in couples and family therapy from the University of Guelph. And I just, I read this fascinating article that she wrote about how sex has gone from a physical act to a legal one. I'm bored. Uh, where are we on titles? Um, okay, well, just spitballing, but I do have a few. Let's talk about sex. Baby, because, um, hot under the collar. The wee spot. <laughs> uh, the last one was a joke, right? Um, there's a disconnect going on here, Erica, between what you pitched, what we want, and what you are presenting. Yeah, in English, it's a pile of shite. You came to us with this fresh concept. 31 flavors of sex, from vanilla to tiger tail, masturbation to pony play. We want a book that's transgressive, one that pushes all the boundaries. Yeah, so stop being a prude and make this title more raw, Erica, more basic, more animal, more, more, bang, pow, look at that, right there, right there, pow, right there, you see that look, pow, right there, you see that? That prudish look is what's holding you back. Okay, what if I had uh, Mary set me up on an interview with like a, like a dominatrix? Delicious. Good, great, maybe a madam? No, 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 I mean delicious, the club, the sex club, downtown, where anything goes. Yeah, go there, Erica, tonight. Broaden your mind. Find someone who lives and breathes sex. Absolutely, I am on it tonight. Delicious. I'm sorry I can't take you two to the airport tonight. Erica, it's fine. Work's work. Well, going to a sex club doesn't sound like work to me. <laughs> you better keep an eye on this one, Ethan. The last thing you want is for her to uh, nibble on some forbidden fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be right beside her. Still, I'd uh, keep her on a leash. What? It's a sex club. So, Sam, what part of London are you gonna look for a flat? Well, it's a huge city and there are some really cute parts. West End, period. Still, if Sam's gonna be the one that's stuck at home. The West End's great. Huh. There's theater stuff to do, you know, for when you come and visit. Right. So, is everyone done? Yes, done. Take your plates. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mm. All you need is a French maid outfit. I'm good, thanks. You know, London will be good for Sam. Take her out of her comfort zone. I mean, uh, she practically lives here. Maybe that's because we're her family. Uh-huh. And I'm her husband. Come on, come on, Erica. I know you want to say something. Go ahead. Go on, go on, go on. Enlighten me on my own marriage. 
Put your nose where it doesn't belong. Again. Josh. Yep. Hey, Erica. Your mom wants this wrapped up. Great, thank you. Well, I'm ready for dessert. Anybody else? Barb, you want to satisfy my sweet tooth or what? Uh, hey, what's going on? I swear that he's just, he's pushing my buttons on purpose. He's trying to get me to react so that I say something I regret. And it's good you didn't. Good. You minded your own business. It was the right thing to do. Look, let's get out of here, okay? Let's go home and get ready for our big, weird night out. What, what the hell is that? Trust me, you don't want to know. Come on, let's go do some research. Okay. <laughs> Wow, 10 years, really? Yeah, 10 years this August. Congratulations. And so, I mean, all of this, it doesn't cause a problem in your marriage? The reality is our marriage is more open than most people's. More open sexually and emotionally. But I don't hide anything from Gloria. She doesn't hide anything from me. We're always completely honest with each other. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, what can you be jealous of? That you're having sex with other people? <laughs> sex is completely natural. All these rules around it aren't. And you don't think that they're there for a reason? Give me a good reason. I mean, one that doesn't involve religion or morals. I just, I just, I don't think I could do it. There's only one way to know for sure. Hmm. Join in any time. Okay, let's go. Ethan. They wanted us to have a foursome. I I've never even had a threesome. Oh, well, they're overrated. I'm joking. Oh, my God, you are really freaked out, aren't you? I just find this all very weird. It doesn't turn you on? Not even a little bit. What are you doing? Being bad. <clears throat> You've never wanted to just be bad with me? We have an audience. Ethan, we're in a sex club. They've seen worse. Mm. Erica, really. Ethan just kissed me, okay? It's not a big deal. Well, it is to me, so please, can we just can we just go? Okay. I'll get our jackets. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, Let me give you a hand there? No, please, you just stay right where you are. What's the matter? You're naked. I am. Why do you think that bothers you so much? I can honestly say that tonight has been one of the weirdest nights of my life. Yeah. Well, please, have a seat. Bury your soul. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay. I, I have never seen people have sex live. Mm -hmm before tonight, and you, they, they just had it all hanging out, you know, their kinks and their bits and pieces and... Yep, and you didn't run away screaming, though, did you? All those conventions and taboos being broken in one room? Well, at first it was shocking, and 
but then after a while, I don't, I don't know. It, it kind of seemed like normal is not the right word, but like that couple, they cheat on each other all the time, but they seem way happier than my parents ever did. Maybe they have it right. Nobody realizes that some people expend tremendous energy merely to be normal. Albert Camus. Take Ethan. We were kissing, and a couple people stopped to watch, and it was, it was too much for him. Yeah, well, maybe Ethan prefers to be affectionate in private. Or he's hung up on the rules. Like, I can't be friends with Kai. Hmm. Why should I have to turn my back on the only other patient I know? Because, what, he's a guy? I mean, that's, that's insane. Right. I'll tell you what, let's do a little experiment here. It doesn't involve you standing up. Uh, no. Today, this session is not going to be about a regret. No? No. Okay, so from the moment that you woke up until right now when you came through that door, I'm giving you a day-long do-over, okay? Nothing will stick and everything new will be erased. Really? So everything I do today, it can be undone? Well, not only can be, it will be undone, except, of course, for your memories. So just go back and do whatever you want. Rules, be damned. Go jump out of a plane or gamble away your life savings. Walk around naked? Yeah, see, now you got it. You spent all day today being bound by the rules. Well, why don't you try going back and reliving today without any? talk about last night and it can't wait. Look, I know that you don't want me to be friends with Kai. I never said that. And I know that it's because of Claire and how she cheated on you and she hurt you, but Ethan, I'm not Claire. I know you're not Claire, okay? I'm sorry, you and Kai as friends, it's... It's what, it's weird and unconventional? I mean, maybe, but why? I, I don't know. Look, Kai is a friend and that friendship will never get between us. Okay. Oh, look at you, you're all clean. That's too bad. Why? Oh, because once I'm done with you, you're gonna have to take a shower all over again. Oh. join me. Oh, sorry. She's just a bit happy today. Good for you. You made first contact. Now go talk to her. Erica, no. Judith. Hi there. I'm Erica, and this is Judith. Hey. What's your name? Sadia. Oh. Beautiful name. <gasps> and your son, he's adorable. What's his name? Hassan. How old is he? Uh, six months last Tuesday. You guys look about the same age. Yep, six months next week. Listen, it was really lovely to meet you, but I have to run. Okay, um, I'll call you later. I will see you later, alligator, yeah! You charge me five bucks for milk bubbles? It's no problem, I'll make you another one. Excuse me. Hello. I really can't talk right now. Have you ever seen that movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray from the early 90s? When I was five? No. He gets to live a day over. And as it turns out, my therapist 
is doing the same for me. Erica. Whatever, Kai, they're not gonna remember. Really? You get to redo today. Oh, no, I am redoing today. Everything I do for the rest of the day doesn't stick. Kid, I'll just be a sec. All right, so say I believe you, and your day really is gonna be a race. If I'm by your side. Everything I do with you, it's undone. I mean, why do you think I came here? You're the only person I know that can truly appreciate this. If I get a ticket, okay, it's coming right out of this tip jar. Yo, Moby Dick, why don't you tone it down? Excuse me? You're 100% sure your dog's not pulling your leg? And you wonder why you're slinging coffee at your age? Now that's a $5 latte. So, are you ready, you big rebel? Oh yeah, I'm pretty much fired anyway. Hello. What kind of trouble should we get into? Ah, uh, what are you doing? My favorite customer left his keys on the counter. Let's call it a tip. Let's call it Grand Theft Auto. Forget it. Erica, the first rule of do-over day is there are no rules. Ugh. I swear, if I spend the rest of the day behind bars, I'm never going to forgive you. And I'll never remember. Pop in. <laughs> Mercedes-Benz! CLK 63 AMG, 475 horsepower, 0 to 104.7 seconds. They do not make cars like these anymore. Anymore? This thing, it looks brand new. Look at you, enjoying the perks of therapy. Not all bad, huh? I never said it was. So then tell me your doctor's name. Oh, come on, Kai, you're not gonna remember. Uh, fine, it's Dr. Fred. Oh, great. Look, I'm late for work. Last thing I need is hear my boss bitch me out. So why don't you go do the bitching? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good boss is a calm boss. Good boss is a calm boss. Hello! Oh. Uh, since when is coming to work two hours late, okay? Who the hell do you think you are, Oprah? I was on Oprah once. And, uh, Dr. Phil. Where the hell have you been, Erica? I have been with Kai, my 22-year-old friend. He can sing, and as Mary would say, he's righteous. What? What? What the hell is going on with her? In chapter five of The Mystery of Tomorrow, it states... Wow, it's not even published yet, and he's quoting himself. Your self-love, it has no bounds, does it? Eric? Julianne, let me break it down for you. This man is a dog. He turns you into a giggling idiot. It is embarrassing, and you can do better. And you! <laughs> You need to get over yourself. Seriously, the secret of now sucked. <laughs> oh, I gotta run. Hey, you. Hi there. Uh, yes? Um, I know that we've never actually met, but I've spent the last year admiring your ass. It's truly spectacular. Um, I'm married. Oh, totally. I'm with someone, too. I was just wondering if you'd mind if, if I could... Wow. <laughs> I look hot. Totally smoking hot. I feel like the gayest cowboy since broke back mountain. Thanks. <laughs> hey, it wasn't my idea to play truth or dare. Today of all days. So what's it gonna be, partner? Erica. Truth or dare, it's your turn. Fine. Truth. Really? Finally. Why won't you talk to me about your therapy? So I did something in my past I want to forget. That's not really answering my question. I mean, in my experience, you can't 
just avoid the regret. If it's on the list, the rule is you have to relive it. What is it you're trying to forget? You don't get two questions. OK, no, 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 I'm not playing the game anymore, Kai. Just I'm asking you as a friend. Someone died because of me. You know, Kai, they're, they're called regrets for a reason. No judgment here, OK? OK, well, you owe me now. Truth or dare? No. Dare? All right, I dare you to face a real fear. Do something you always wanted to do but can't. How fast do you think a Mercedes could get us up to North York? Depends who's driving. Yeah! Erica? Honey, is that you? Where were you? Why didn't you call? Mary said you left work hours ago. Uh, you, you know what? Why don't you guys go sit down and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab something to eat and I will promise to explain everything to you. Oh, good, my favorite. Thanks. Nice work, Erica. Freaking Ethan and Barb out. Sam too, not that she showed it. Mm. And how would you know that Sam's upset? Because I know Sam. You know Sam. We're married. Oh, oh yeah, you probably blocked that out since your uh, maid of honor speech was something like, oh, oh, dear sister Sam, please don't marry that asshole Josh because he doesn't love you. Hugs and kisses, Erica, right? Well, you don't. I know that. Mom finally starting to figure it out. Deep down inside, Sam knows it too. You don't know shit. Look, Josh, I'm not here to point fingers or to attack you. Really? Yeah, but there is something that I need to say. Oh, okay, I, can't, I cannot wait to hear this. Dragging Sam off to England, it's not gonna fix something as broken as your relationship. Dragging Sam, she wants to go. Are you sure? Have you ever even asked her? Because I think she's going only for you. This is, this is none of your business. Actually, yes, it is my business because she's my sister. And you, Josh, I've known you, what, since you're 14? You're 30 now, and you still don't look happy. I want my sister to be happy. So please, go and do the right thing for once in your life. Okay. <sighs> Erica, something's wrong. They've locked themselves in Sam's bedroom. And what did you say to Josh? The truth. What we should have told him then, a long time ago. Mm. I'll get it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Indeed, it is. Hey, did you realize that by the end of this century, our planet will warm by more than six degrees? No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant in here. Hmm. Sam and Josh, they're finally having the talk about their relationship. I did the thing that you're not supposed to do. I meddled and fingers crossed the log jam is burst. To succeed in life, you need two things, ignorance and confidence, Mark Twain. I'm tired of holding myself back because of the rules. Great. From now on, I'm gonna do and say exactly what I want. Good, good. Hey, you know, you only answer to yourself in life, right? You know, every man for himself, you know, right? Uh, well, that, no, that's not exactly what I mean. Erica, do you think all those SUV drivers out there stop and worry about anybody else as they're pumping tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere? Hell no. And they look happy, right? You know, kind of. You just go for whatever you want, you know, when you want, and everything else will just whatever. It'll sort itself out. Okay, I'll see you later. Hey, enjoy. It was, uh, it was no one. I'll put the bags in the car. Honey, are you okay? You think that I'm making a mistake? You think that 
I'm following Josh that I'm too weak to stand up for what I want. We're just worried. Erica, you are the last person to tell anyone how to live, okay? Sam. No! What makes your life so perfect that you can constantly do this to me? Erica's finally got a real job and a real relationship, and isn't she so wise now that at the age of 32, she can actually pay her rent without anyone's help? You are so arrogant. You think that you can just say anything that you want to me, to Josh. You are constantly ripping apart all of my decisions. I want to move to England. I want to get me and my husband as far away as I can from you. Sam. Josh, Would I- Would you shut up? You don't give a shit about me, you never have. Did you even think about what this would do to Sam? Ethan, I don't need a lecture. Or did you just plow ahead and say, hey, screw the consequences? I did this to help her. Yeah, well, clearly Sam doesn't need or want your help. Hey, Erica, everything okay? What is he doing here? Oh, my God, this is a nightmare. Oh, I see. You didn't go to work. You didn't call. You spent the day with him. Uh, Ethan, really, everything's cool. Kai, please, just don't, okay? Ethan, I know what this looks like, but that is not... What's happening, okay? Kai and I- Just friends, right? No, yes, we're just friends. We're, we're, we're not even friends. We're actually- You're what? What, Erica? We're time travelers. <laughs> and I know that that sounds crazy, but it's the truth, okay? Uh, look, last year I told you that I went to the hospital after I ate that hazelnut frappe thing, right? Do you remember? And, and then I met this therapist and I, I know this sounds insane. Insane, that, that you and Kai travel through time together. No, not together, separately. Well, I am the last guy to stand in the way of that kind of a friendship. Ethan, please, no, I, just... I am telling you the truth. Ethan. Look, Erica, in a couple hours, this will all be erased. What went down tonight wasn't technically real. Yeah? Well, it felt pretty real. I'm never going to be able to tell him about therapy, am I? Kai, you're the only person I can talk to about this. Go in the Mercedes. Step out of the car, please. The cop will hear you. This is the weirdest 24 hours of my life. We stole the car. We're, we're running away from police. I mean, who am I? None of it matters. This is your do-over day. Today, we get to do whatever we want. I can't believe I just did that. No, I kissed you. Why? Because I wanted to see what it would be like. And so did you. Lift your eyes and let me in. Cause baby, I'm an alien like you. Will you ever? Wake at night, realize the reason why you knew me then is maybe I'm an alien too. Will you ever? 
never let me be an alien with you. Erica. Look, Ethan, I'm just gonna go to bed, okay? No, you do not get to just walk out of this. Do you know what you put me and everyone through today? I'm sorry. Erica, please just talk to me, okay? I can't. I can't. Just be honest. Tell me the truth. What did you do today? I promise you that I'm, I'm done being insensitive, okay? And, and selfish and, and just awful. It's okay. No, it's not okay, Ethan, I hurt you. And I made you worry, I love you. So much. I love you too. an interesting night. Hey, listen, I promise by tomorrow I will have all of that put away. Oh, don't worry. I'll help you. We both live here now. We do. Look, can we talk about the weirdness this morning? Oh, that was all my fault. I let my issues with Claire turn me into a crazy man. You had a right. No, I didn't. Like you said, you're not her. You could never do the things she did. Hey. Be friends with whoever you want. I trust you. Hmm. All right, where to begin? sex Taurus. <laughs> so, how did it feel to take a walk on the wild side? Um, uh-oh. I smell disappointment with a touch of desperation. What gives? I didn't find any inspiration, and I don't think that I will. Not with the direction that we're taking the book. You know what I think? I think you've fallen into old habits, Erica. You're a sexual Luddite. And you've got hang-ups and issues. OK, you think what you want, but here's the thing. There's a reason why 99.9% .9 of the population doesn't walk around dressed in leather harnesses and having group sex or multiple partners. Yeah, because they've got hang-ups and issues. You make a book that's aimed specifically at that fringe, that's all you're going to get buying it. OK, well, what's your proposal then? What I would like is to see the book fall somewhere in the middle. Yes, we'll make a nod to the more out there aspects of sexuality and our fantasies, but I really feel that you can't forget the core, just real people. Because for the most part, we prefer to keep our fantasies safely stowed away in here. I tell you, if I went to Delicious tonight, I'd come back <clears throat> with enough juice to fill half a book. That's interesting, Freedy, but Erica is editing this book, not you. Follow this direction, find me the right author, but if you bring in a piece of garbage... There will be a price to pay. I got it. <sighs> 
So, back in the real world, are we? The look on Ethan's face, it keeps running on repeat in my head. Yeah. Hey, well, technically it never actually happened, though, right? But it did, and you said that I would live regret-free. No, Erica, I told you to live the day as you wanted, and that nothing would stick. But it seems that something has. Something has, and I have no idea what to do about it. Everything has a consequence, Erica. Every action has a reaction. It's Isaac Newton, right? Wow, well, I was kind of paraphrasing him there, but yeah. And now you have a choice here, to do something about your predicament or to not do something about it. But regardless of what road you choose, there will still be consequences. Because there always are. Always. Consequences. When we ask the question, why can't I? They're right there, staring us in the face. The answers, we don't want to hear. Hey, next time, no experiments, just our regularly scheduled therapy. It's coming right up. Hey, you. Give me a sec. Enjoy. Thank you. So. Yes. It's been a while. Since? Since we've hung out. We've never actually hung out, Erica. Yeah, no, I guess, I guess we haven't. <laughs> so where were you this morning? Avoiding me? Because I blocked your efforts to get inside my head? Uh, not exactly. Well, I'll tell you what. You treat a poor barista to a fancy dinner, I'll answer anything you want to know. I can't. OK. What did I do? Nothing. Honestly, I just, um... You know how you refuse to talk about your therapy and Dr. Fred? How'd you know my doctor's name was Fred? I just do. And I refuse to make my boyfriend's life a living hell. Oh, so this is about Ethan? He's telling you who you can and can't be friends with? You're cool? That's my decision. Really? Really. I'll just see you for your morning latte then. 